Well, good morning, everybody. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap if you can. I hope you are having a great day so far. And it's early. Hey, guess what? It's a day six. Somebody shout amen. Hallelujah. Welcome, folks, online, folks. Welcome to day six, our 21 days prayer. We are excited about what God is going to do. And we're in the, in the journey of, you know, seeing hand of God moving in every area of our life. So we're so excited. I want to bring it to you, a kind of scripture side, before I'm going to jump on it. Just want to remind you guys, the, you know, the personal prayer guide. We put it together for you guys, you know, kind of go over and, you know, we have great prayers online, folks. You can download as well as a PDF file if you go to cjclife.com slash 21 days prayer. You're able to download and you can able to follow with us um, as we are, you know, doing this awesome uh, prayers in 21 days. So if you can, just kind of, you know, you can stand to your feet or you may be seated for a few minutes. We're going to get into the Word of God just to meditate on the Word of God. You that are driving out there, be careful driving. Um, don't try to do multitasking. I know it's so hard to do multitasking. But... Um, so today we're going to be focusing on the heart um, when it comes to uh, the, our heart bef before God and with the people. So Philippians 4, in a pretty familiar portion of scripture that I want to kind of uh, put it out there, Philippians 4, verse 6 and 7, um, verse 6 and 7, you can look up to screen if those that are here. Um, you guys want to just kind of bring in your memory if you can. Philippians 4, 6, and um, 7. So it says, do not be anxious about anything. I love the way the Lord speaks to us. You know, do not be anxious about anything. You that are married, it's good news for you. Don't be anxious about your spouse. It's no... It's just a waste of time, waste of your energy. You know, some of you are like freaking out. Oh my God, my husband is this, my wife is this. No, 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 no. The word of the Lord says, do not be anxious about anything. But watch the word. But in everything, in every situation, in every circumstances, every moment of our life, he says in every situation, by prayer, petition with thanksgiving, present your request to God. You know, one of the ways that I educate people to kind of like, if you're frustrated, just tell the Lord, I'm frustrated. <laughs> you know, if you, if, you, if you have anxiety, just tell God, I'm, I'm, I'm just messed up. Just do something, Lord. Because you can present your request to God. God hears us. God wants to, you know, answer our prayer. But the focus today is verse 7. And the peace of God, when we do verse 6, and something will happen to us. A lot of times, people are longing for peace to come on. Hey, I'm tired of going through this thing. I need some peace in my life. I need a peace of God in my kids, in my, in my marriage. But the way the peace of God manifests, my friend, we got to do verse 6. Verse 6 says, starts off you taking a decision. You and I making a decision. Do not be anxious about anything. It is a personal decision. You're, you're making a choice in your life. It's a, it's, it's a brilliant choice that if, if, if you want to put it in that perspective. That it is, don't be anxious about anything and pray and give it to God and be thankful what the, what the Lord is doing. 
And then verse 7 begin to manifest. It says, the peace of God which transcendeth, watch the word, all understanding will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. I love the word. It will guard. You know, we're trying to uh, guard our hearts and minds with the knowledge of word of God. It's great with the, with the prayer of God, which is great. With the presence of God, which is great. With the power of God, which is great. But, but the, the word of God cannot lie. The truth is the only one substance that's going to really guard our hearts and minds. It's peace. Because when you're at peace, you're able to think right. You're able to process right. You're able to perceive right. You're able to judge right. I mean, if you're not, peace, you're not in peace, you're going to come up with your own way of ideology. You're going to, your own way of, uh, you know, perceiving this should be that way. That should be this way. And, uh, you know, they're doing wrong and this is wrong. You know, all this is notion. That notion, you know, pops in our hearts because we're not peaceful. But whenever we're not anxiety about anything, we give it to God and we pray then the substance of peace will come. My friend, peace is not something you go to H-E-B and grab it you know, on the aisle somewhere. Like, no, no, you can't find peace by the milk section or you know, egg section. You're going to find peace only by the Lord. Bible says the, fru uh, uh, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, faith, peace. So peace is there as, as one of the ingredients and my friend, without peace, there is no life on this earth. And let me tell you what peace could do also. Some of you need to know this. Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 12, I believe, that it says the God of peace shall soon crush the adversary, the enemy, the devil under your feet. I love that thing. Come on. Let's get God a hang up. And that only happens to a man, a woman who decided to walk in peace. And I'm giving you a simple roadmap that you can be peaceful today. It doesn't matter what situation, what circumstances are rising up against you. You take authority by doing this. Be not be anxious about it, number one. And bring that request before God. And go to bed, drink coffee, eat something good. And God will give you the peace. And when that peace comes to you, it says the peace transcendeth all not some, all understanding. And that peace, my friend, will guard your heart. It's important. We're living in a days that we need to guard our heart, our mind. These are two major organs. For 2016 to be prosperous and success, our heart should be right place. Our mind should be in a right way of thinking. And if we don't think that way, we're, we're kind of struggle in our lives. So uh, l let me give you another scripture that is um, Psalms 19, 119 verse 9. Psalms 119 verse 9. It says, Blessed are those whose ways are blameless, who walk according to the law of the Lord. I just gave you the law of the Lord. These are the people that are blessed. You wonder why some people always get excited about God, energized about God. They just love to give it to God, everything. Because they understood the law of the Lord. The law was given just to do not be anxious about anything. And pray and petition. And thanks to the Lord is going to do it. So sometimes we, we fret, you know, when it comes to wickedness and people that do the wrong things. We think, man, I, my life would have been better without this person. My life would have been better without so-and-so doing these stupid things and that. And then sometimes people like you, you know, I, I was like that. I'm trying to fix everything and everybody's failures. That's not my job. <laughs> my job is to show you who can fix the problems. You know, I can't, I can't fix your problems. You know, don't come to church because pastors will fix their problems. Pastors can't fix their problem. Pastors trying to figure out their own problems. So they don't have time to fix your problem. But, but I'm going to tell you, so you got to understand the word of God. Word of God gives us that if there's any wickedness going on and if there's any evil going on, God said, I'll take care of that. Don't worry about it. You do what is right. 
I'll take care of your pain. I'll take care of people that threw you under the bus. I'll take care of people that walked away from you. I'll take care of people that misguided you, misjudged you. I'll take care of people that, that mistreated you. Look at the scripture. This is my favorite scripture sometimes when I go through tough times and I kind of meditate the scripture. Today, I didn't even think about the scripture. It just dawned on me like haunting. So that's what I want to give it to you. It just haunted me and I woke up thinking, my God, this scripture is so beautiful. So Proverbs 16, 4, this is my last scripture. Watch the word, and then if you're that are uh, online, and then you can go to Bible and remember the scripture, Proverbs 16, for great Proverbs, you can read all day. 16, 4 says, the Lord works out everything to its proper end. <laughs> Y'all seeing this right here, right? So the Lord works out, not, not, not pastors, not churches, not leaders, no, no, the Lord, I love this scripture, it says, the Lord works out, out. It's going to bring it out. Everything. Everything inside of it. That's why when we stay here, when we declare every pain out, every sickness out, every disease out, he is the works out. Everything to its proper end. Watch the word. Even. He adds to this. Even the wicked for the day of disaster. <laughs> so if there's wickedness that you think so-and-so is going to prosper, if you see wickedness, thinking, man, these wicked people is going to be, they're going to have a better day than myself. Have you ever found sometimes, how in the world the Lord can bless that guy? How in the world this woman can be this? I mean, I saw her. I saw her doing this, and, you know. I, I saw, I saw, like, you know, she's nowhere. I mean, we sometimes think, like, how could this be, Lord? But you need to understand that God is in in the action that he's the one doing it. He says that the, 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 he will, uh, verse uh, um, 4, he said, even the wicked for the day of disaster. So my friend, when the disaster happens, it's not for you. It's for the wicked. When, when things go wrong, don't judge that. God is in control. As long as you're in the right place, he'll give you understanding. You know, don't, don't compare with the wickedness. Don't compare with the, man, I need to make money like they're making money. I need to be like them. No, no, no. Be who you are. Number one, you got to find peace in God. Amen. So today, we're going we're gonna to work this out that the peace of God will manifest every area of your, our life. Amen. Can we do that? So I want you to stand to your feet. You that are watching online, you know, do me the same thing. We're going to worship God. But I want you to meditate on this word for a few minutes. If there's anything that is threatening your peace, you got to leave that peace right here today. If there's anything, anybody, any situation, any loved one, sometimes in marriage, your own spouse will steal that peace. And you got to have a boldness to say, no, no, I'm not going to focus on the present. I'm not going to focus on the detail pictures of what they do. I'm going to focus on the purpose of my marriage. Not the, not the process only, just the purpose also. You got to include both of them. So God can give you the peace. Sometimes you lose peace just because your husband did not pick up the trash can. No, no, you lose peace because your wife did not kiss you. No, 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 no. Those little things will come in alignment, my friend. You got to keep your peace with God first. And the way we're going to do it, we're going to bring it every situation before God. So as you're lifting, as you're worshiping, I want you to, you know, release that whatever that's troubling you. The Bible says, do not be anxious about anything in Jesus' name. If you can lift those hands before the Lord. Father, we thank you. On the day six, God, you gave us a strength and ability and sustainability. Lord, we thank you for focus and tenacious and the purpose that you're creating in our hearts, Lord. As we meditate today, that the, the scriptures are Philippians 4, 7 and 6 and 7, that Lord, give us heart to walk into peace. Because that peace will transcend every understanding in our life. And that peace also will guard our hearts and our minds. So I declare peace that are watching in online. I declare peace in every single situation. As your son, my master, my Lord, my king who rose up in the middle of the crisis, in the middle of the storm, he commanded this peace be still. Now we declare every situation, every circumstances, every impossible, we command peace be still in Jesus' name. Come on, let's give God a hand clap if you can. Bless him. Come 
prepared your living home, your presence. Tasted and seen of the sweetest of love. When my heart becomes free and my shame is undone, your presence, Lord. More aware of your presence. 
Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Your presence, Lord. Let me sing it this morning. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. You come flood this place and fill the air. what our heart longs for to be overcome by your presence Lord your presence Lord it's what we long for this morning your presence Lord to get lost in your presence, presence, Lord. Let us, let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Let us become more aware of your presence. Let us experience the glory of your goodness. Your presence, Lord. This morning, God, we just call after your presence, Father. This morning, there's nothing more important than your presence this morning. Come on, somebody just for the next 30 seconds, if you'll just worship from your heart. minutes at 7 15 we'll come back and let's just enter a prayer if you'll find your place and those who are online the music will be playing so let's pray we'll see you guys back
The moon and stars they wept. The morning sun was dead. The savior of the world was fallen. His body on the cross. His blood poured out for us. The weight of every curse upon him. One final breath he gave as heaven looked away. The Son of God was laid in darkness. A battle in the grave, the war on death was waged. The power of hell forever broken. The ground.
25 minutes gone like a second, right? <laughs> awesome. If you guys can make your, your way to altar, we're going we're gonna to pray together. And this is my favorite uh, section of the entire prayers. You know, we pray corporately and we pray and we declare over our lives and our, you know, what God is doing. You that are watching online, you can do the same thing. And I recommend to be in the building. You know, it's, it's a different energy. You know, online is great, but being in the building is a different energy. So I just want to you know, remind all of us that scripture that we just kind of, you know, meditated on it. And this is the day that you want to put a, a emphasis on peace. Ask God to fill your heart with the peace. You know, that word in Philippians 4, 6, and 7, they that are just tuned in may not know what we're talking about. You know, we're talking about that do not be anxious about anything. You know why? Because God has a solution for all of us. The solution is that, you know, make your request known to God. Pray, supplication, make your request known to God. Let God know it and then let it go. And the Bible says the peace of God, which transcends all understanding. And then this is what we'll do. That peace, same peace will also guard your heart and your mind. And that's key. You know, a lot of times who... These two organs are the ones that are fighting constantly. Like your mind says one thing, your heart says something, and you're, you're battling between those two. But God wants to bring a peace. That means your mind and your heart will come alignment. Then you, pro you process the information effectively. You're going to see the, the hand of God moving in every situation, in your job, in your business, in your healing. And that's what God you know, wants us to have, the peace of God. So we're going to pray, declare, and we're going to, uh, articulate and I want you to just pray the best how you know ask God to fill your heart with the peace just give asking God God let be, there be a peace in my marriage let there be peace in my job let there be peace in my school let there be peace in 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 my colleagues peace God wherever you know where the, there is no peace you know wherever you walk in your house in your car uh, in your family members, you know, uh, or wherever you might be right now, just ask God, let the peace be transcended. Let the peace be transcended. Let the peace come. Let the peace manifest. Let the peace be uh, come alive. Let the peace be, Lord, present wherever I go. We thank you, Lord, for the peace of God. Peace of God to transcend every, every single thing. And we're going to pray for our today. The Lord put it in my heart to pray for CJC life. And we're going to pray for regularly for nation and Jerusalem. Uh, and then we're going to pray for CJC life. And then we're going to declare over all of us. Father, we thank you today for everything you have done, everything you're doing. We pray peace in Jerusalem. The name Jerusalem is a double peace, God. I pray peace in Jerusalem. Peace in Jewish people. Peace in rabbis, peace in every saint of God, peace in every messianic Jew, peace in every Jew, every every Levitical Jew. Father, we pray that your peace to descend on Jerusalem. Lord, we thank you for perfect harmony that you're creating in the nation of Israel. We thank you for your goodness and mercy. Father, we lift up our nation. I pray that God that you would touch our leaders. 
especially our president barack obama and his family god as he's as he's transitioning his last year we pray that god you would give him a real satisfaction it's not in a political system give him god real satisfaction is in you and your word your spirit i thank you god as he's living lord let his heart be fulfilled let his heart be satisfied let his heart be lord completely in content as he's living as he walking away we thank you lord for giving him strength lord in this next few months that he's he's going to go through a lot of pressure a lot of transition we pray you give him a peace in his heart peace we declare that uh, joe biden our vice president we declare peace over him we declare that lord uh, for the for the speaker of the house and we thank you lord he's trying to bring a peace in between senate and congress we pray peace over our leaders and i thank you lord for every senator every congressman we declare peace god let every leader that are leading us god let them know that the, the the peace is not in a political system peace is not in a political policies peace is only in the prince of peace who is who is jesus oh lord i thank you father for your grace that is about to manifest on supreme court leaders and supreme court judge god and i thank you for you for your will begin to manifest there god we pray peace to surpass that place in washington and pennsylvania avenue and we pray the peace to penetrate in the atmosphere father we thank you, we thank you lord we pray for the state of texas we thank you lord for what you're doing pray for our governor we pray peace to our governor and we pray peace to Ivy Taylor. Thank you, Father, for Mayor of City of San Antonio empowering us, our Mayor, to walk in peace. And we declare the peace of God to uh, trans transcend all understanding to women of God. We thank you, Lord, for guarding her heart and leading her in the right direction, right perspective. God, we pray for every company leaders, every every police officer, every every uh, public safety officer, every every person that is supporting and. And bringing safety and, and controlling and leading the people in the city, God, we pray that your peace will rest on them. We pray for principals and teachers that your peace will rest on them. We thank you for your victory that's manifesting, Holy Spirit. We lift up CJC life. We pray that every Sunday service there is a peace that begin to penetrate from wall to wall, from face to face. God, we thank you. Peace to rest upon from top to down. We pray that every single uh, life team huddle, we declare peace be rest upon. Lord, we declare that every small group will have a peace be resting upon. We declare that God life track will have a peace and we thank you. Lord, we declare that Lord, your word will begin to go for this year and penetrate the people of God and they will find peace and they know where to go. Rest. Thank you, Lord, for creating in us heart of peace. We declare peace over every situation. We declare peace over children's ministry. We declare peace over students' ministry. We declare peace over media ministry. We declare peace over worship ministry. Even in media, God, at the last minute, they're trying to scramble. They're trying to do this and that. And, and, and Lord, end of the day, let their hearts know they're not doing for pastor. They're not doing for the leaders. They're doing for you. So I pray, let the peace be resting on every computer, every, every instrument that we touch. Let your peace, every camera be connected. Lord, with that connected to us, we declare peace over. Lord, every books that we have in the sanctuary, we declare peace over. That without every transaction we do in administration, accounting, and in a leadership, we pray peace in Jesus' name, God. Lord, every soul that works and volunteers, that puts their heart, their mind, their soul, their, their talents, their gifts, their, their purpose, their plans, their, their design, we pray peace that will manifest on every one of us. And we thank you, Lord. Let this be the year that we will walk in more peaceful than the last year. And we declare that the, every month that we have before us, we declare peace be still. We command that every week will be peace be still, God. We pray peace in every area of our life as we walk in in 2016. We declare the year before us is a peaceful year. Peaceful year for every single Christian. That are believing in you, God. Thank you for removing every anxiety, removing every obstacle in their life, and that Lord, you're blessing all of us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We declare and we command, Father. Come on, keep praying that Father would declare 
and we dedicate that peace to you God we thank you Lord for we dedicate CJC life for your work Lord it is not it is not a men's church it is your church and you establish the protocol in this church we thank you for the leadership we thank you for the Lord honoring the leadership we thank you for the Lord release of the spirit of generosity in this in this church God we pray that the release of spirit of boldness we pray release of spirit of faith will begin to manifest on Lord we thank you for the release of spirit of Lord a love joy peace will begin to manifest God we thank you father for every single soul that will walk in love knit together shoulder to shoulder we know that there's God in this house that we pray that God that your presence will hover over every single person we thank you Lord as a prayer team is going to be praying we thank you father sending the the, the warrior angels we thank you for the angels that have been dispatched on behalf of CJC on behalf of your people by the power of the Holy Spirit we thank you Lord for dispatching your angels, we are your princes that we thank you for Lord hovering over this area. Lord, we take authority over Bendera area in the zip code 7328238. Two, we declare that zip code was given to CJC Life. We command that every spirit that's working around this building, we declare that your peace be still in Jesus mighty name. We command the airways. We command the every forces that are trying to stand. The forces that are trying to paralyze. Forces that are trying to threaten. Forces that are trying to intimidate. Forces that are trying to bring a fear. We take authority right now in Jesus name. We declare that 73238 and we declare peace be still by the power of the Holy Spirit and we declare Father we thank you. We thank you. Peace. As people driving by before the dome, peace we command. Every car, every truck, every vehicle, every single person that's moving in front of the dome, behind the dome, side the dome, we declare peace. And we bring the wind of your presence in this. Even the people that come into parking lot, God, we pray, peace be still. Let them know why they feel so good when they walk in. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit, moving in your life. Thank you, Holy Spirit, moving in our hearts and our minds. We declare peace over every business is on Bendera. Every single business, God, every gas station, every, every single restaurant, we declare peace. That if there's any threat in this area, Lord, let it be exposed before if there's any ungodliness in this area, God, let it be exposed before. You put us as a leaders on this area. You put us as a spiritual force, as a spiritual voice on this area. So we take authority over this airways. And we declare that, Lord, this 78238 belongs to you. This zip code is belongs to you. We pray that every single soul that lives in this zip code belongs to Christ. We nominate their names, their souls, their hearts, their purpose. Devil, take off your hands on my people. Let my people go. Thank you for drawing your people. Thank you for pulling your people. Lord, we're asking you thousand plus souls to be saved this year, Lord. We thank you for granting our request, Holy Spirit. Have your way with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I have a few more minutes. I want to focus on you guys. And I want you to say this way. Peace be still. I know some of you are like, just working on peace be still. That's okay. You know, whatever, as long as you say it, it's good. It just says peace be still. Yeah, you can say louder. You can say effectively. If you can say it normally, it doesn't matter. Peace be still. So now I'm going to use some words for you. All you have to say, peace be still. Amen. Ready? Say again. Peace be still. One more time. Peace be still. Another time. Peace be still. By the way, that's in the Bible. <laughs> peace be still. Okay, all right. Say out loud. Peace be still. Okay. Uh, Bible says, the peace will guard our hearts, our minds. So we're going to start with our heart. When I say every area of your heart, you say peace be still. Amen? Okay, ready, go. Every area of your heart every corner of your heart every artery in your heart every space in your heart every every obstacle in your heart every activity in your heart everything in your mind 
Every emotion in your mind, every pain in your mind, every failure in your mind, every conscious problems in your mind, every fear in your mind, everything that's not of you in your mind, every attack in your mind, every conflict in your mind, every trouble in your mind, every trouble in your heart, every doubt in your mind, every unbelief in your mind, every threat in your mind, every stronghold in your mind, every demonic attack in your mind, every struggle in your heart, every weakness in your heart, every wickedness in your mind, every unrighteousness in your mind. And I feel the anointing of the Lord. I just love it. <laughs> you know, Amen. And then I'm going to continue in a few more minutes. I just, this is a st strategically, we're going to pray every month. We're going to be pray, peace be still. So I'm going to say month of March, month of April. So I want you to declare over your month. Ready, go. Month of January, month of February, month of March, month of April, month of May, month of June, month of July, month of August. Month of September, month of October, month of November, month of December, and month of January. And the year of 16, every single day, every single night, every single hour, every single minute, every single second, and every single format, every single place, in my car, in your house, in your job, in your business, in your marriage, in your finance, in your children, in your kids, in your grandparents, in your uncles, in your aunts, in your siblings, in your spouse, in your victory, in your pain, in your trouble, in your doubt. Jesus name. Amen. Come on. Let's give God a hang on. I just love it. I just love it. I think we ought to be doing a rap on that. That's like a powerful thing. Amen. If you can just bow your heads. You already, this is what happens. I want you to know, when God anointed Daniel, Isaac, Ezekiel, Micah, all these prophets, the prophetic you know, even though they're prophets and the prophet's prophetic gift was on them as well in the seasons. And whenever the Bible says the word of the Lord came to me, that was the word that came for them to declare. And I want you to know, you declare your future today. I don't know what other people might have their future, but your future is going to be peaceful. That's what you declare, right? Do you believe what you said? Bible says this, this is, these are the words of Jesus. By your own words, you are justified. By your own words, you are condemned. So you already declare you're going to be justified. Amen? Okay, say out loud one more time. In your bones, in your blood, in your organs, in your soul, in your spirit, in your conscience, in your consciousness, in your hands, in your feet, in your walk, in your sleep, in your eating, in your talking, in your thinking. My God. <laughs> Peace be still. <laughs> Peace is manifesting on your life. And you already send the word of the Lord. This is what happened. When you speak it, you actually assigning an angel of peace run before you. Bible says God of peace. Who is that God of peace? It's God assigning angels, ministering angels of peace going before you for your marriage, for your finance, for your children, for your bones, for your organs, every area that you pray. If, if, you, if we forget any other word, as you're driving, just say, peace be still in every... Imagine Jesus in the middle of the storm. He didn't talk about the storm. He didn't pray about the storm. He didn't say, God, please help me in the storm. No, he stood up like a man. He stood up like a bold lion. What do you say? Peace be still. And I pray that consciousness on your life 
all this year when you say the trouble don't run away from the trouble you stand before the trouble you say trouble i will trouble you by the peace i have and that peace is going to manifest i declare god i thank you for the anointing of the peace that every single soul will will walk in it will walk in it as your servant as your as your steward lord as your pastor and as as their pastor and I, and i declare that this these are your sheep will not lack any good thing this year i declare in jesus name the power of god will penetrate in their minds and souls as a prophetic word was spoken we declare the angels will go before them as a consuming fire making every impossible possible we declare peace in marriages here peace in the jobs peace be still every single moment peace be still in jesus name If you believe it me I want you to lift your hands and just say thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord for Say thank you Lord for having me in your kingdom of God. Thank you Lord for granting me abundance of fe- uh, uh, peace in 2016. Abundance abundance of peace be manifest in my life. in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Remember, the Bible says love your God with all your heart, love your neighbor with all your heart. So do me a favor, the word of the Lord is on you right now. Hug somebody, say it multiplies. Come on. Hug somebody, give them a good hug. Holy Ghost hug. You guys, we love you. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you guys.